The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and How It Really Is. Berlin welcomes you. Mr. Randy, I'm very happy to meet you. Tell me about a, a, a bit about your $1 million dollar challenge. So very simply, we have a $1 million dollar uh, offer, a prize. They don't have to, to pay anything. They don't have to, to compete with anybody. It's a simple prize. If anyone can do any paranormal, occult, or supernatural uh, feat or event of any kind under proper observing conditions, they get $1 million dollars in cash. Um, can people from Germany apply as well? Oh, yes, of course, from anywhere in the world. And how many people have tried so far? Well, it, that's a difficult question to answer. It sounds simple, but it's not. We've had thousands of applications, but most of the people don't come back to actually be tested because sometimes they find out that they don't have the powers and they just get very quiet and they go away. But we have tested something like 433 uh, to date in various parts of the world and uh, they have all failed. Every one of them. Okay, and are these people, uh, most of them, are they cheating or do they really believe that they have psychic powers? No, they really believe. In most cases, we only found, I think, four people that actually tried to cheat me. But uh, I've been around for a while, so they have a hard time trying to fool me. But the rest of them, all quite genuine in their belief. But they could not do what they thought they could do. Okay, so now we have someone who would like to try to get the one million dollars. And he is, may I introduce uh, Mark Benecke? And he will show you from the, from the German skeptics and um, he will show you something, a trick, and yeah. Yes. And then, Randy, you could tell us how to debunk it, how you, how you would debunk it if I would now w want, if I wanted the one million dollars. have to have the application filled out first. Okay, so that would be number one. Yeah, that, that would take some time. Okay. Do you have a check? Pardon? Do you have a check? Do you have your checkbook for the one million dollars? There's some place. No, we're all out here. Oh, really? They're all gone. <laughs> he already has a million dollars, so he doesn't need it. <laughs> There we go. Mm, this is a. This is just a, a euro cent. One euro cent. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's one cent. Okay, so I've, I've like like nothing in my fingers. Obviously, here are rings, but they don't count because I just take my finger here now, and yes. just lift the cent. I see. So what would you, what would you do now to? Well, people that don't really know very much about euro coins in our country, but we find that these coins are not made of copper anymore. They're now made of steel, and they're copper-plated to give them that color. And therefore, any magnetic finger will pick it up, you see. But and how could one but have magnetic fingers? Yeah, who has magnetic fingers? No one has magnetic fingers. Let me try it. I don't think I can do it. No, I'm sure you can. <laughs> I can't. I'm not equipped to do it either, you see. The point is, we magicians know how to do tricks, and we don't reveal those tricks to the public. Okay. <laughs> but the point is, we would have to test him with a compass, for example, and find out exactly how it's... If you really filled out the application and made the challenge, we would answer it. <laughs> so, uh, so I think I'm not getting the one million now, right now. Not today. Maybe. Not today. Okay, so maybe we try it next. So, so you do have a magnet in your fingers? Yes, I do have a magnet in my finger, constantly implanted, so I, like, I, could, I could change the compass and invalidate credit cards, things like that. So what's, what exactly is the use of this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't <laughs> the, the advantage is to do some tricks like this and then ask kids, like, what would you do to find out if this is a real thing or not a real thing? Well, so. you see, if you get in a bathtub or a swimming pool and just do this, you'll turn north and south. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> it's very convenient if you want to know which way is north and south. And there are easier ways of doing it. If you're lost in the ocean, you just go like of this. <laughs> So instead of the, I don't get one million, but you get the, the one cent piece, oh, if you want to ask, because it's a lucky cent in Germany and it will bring you luck probably, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I don't believe very much in luck, but I'll give it a try, okay? <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, so um, thank you very much. And do you, th uh, do you think you will, um, someone will win the one million dollars eventually? I don't think so, because we've, we've tested this sort of thing for decades now. I'm 83 years of age and I started doing this when I was about 12, testing for psychic powers. 
And the fact that we haven't found any psychic powers doesn't prove there are no psychic powers. It just seems to be an indication that there are none. But I'm willing to be shown. I'm one million dollars worth of willing to be shown. Always. So you are always open to something new, something behind the uh, heaven and earth that we do not know. And if I discovered that there was a psychic power, I would get a Nobel Prize. So I can't lose. <laughs> Thank you very much, James Randi. You're very welcome. The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and How It Really Is. We have skeptically interrogating